The MM Predict study is a Horizon 2020 project, uh, started in November 2016 and is funded by the European Commission under the Horizon 2020 program. It is a team of uh, two clinical partners. We have the uh, Erasmus Medical uh, Center um, uh, and the University of Turin. Uh, we have a, a biotech company, Skyland DX. We have the Erasmus University, the economic partner within our team. And we have the uh, myel Myeloma Patients Europe as a partner representative in the project. We aim to develop a diagnostic tool which can predict the most effective treatment for each myeloma patient. Scalindex is a, a specialized company in the development and, uh, and validation of diagnostic tests. Uh, we have uh, put already a test on the market for uh, myeloma, the MM predict, um, and it's a test which can uh, distinguish uh, patients from in a high risk group or a standard risk group. Um, currently, we're now focusing more on the, the treatment side effect. If we can also predict which treatment is best for which patient, and that's where we can implement our knowledge uh, in the development of such tests. So we will uh, measure genetic information from uh, different uh, multiple myeloma patients throughout uh, Europe. We have recruited uh, 800 patient samples and we hope to, to get uh, some genetic information and from these uh, patients, look at their treatment and see if there's any correlation between those. In that sense, we can implement this uh, in the future uh, to predict which patients is uh, most suitable for which treatment. We hope that every patient gets the optimal treatment they deserve and in that sense focus on the most effective treatment for each individual myeloma patient. Also, we hope to provide this uh, and improve the, the care of these patients. So reduce the side effect and directly get the right treatment for these patients. Erasmus University is involved in uh, looking at the, the, the economic and the, the, the patient benefits of, uh, of um, different ways to treat uh, patients with my, my, multiple myeloma. I think in general, everybody believes that personalized medicine will benefit patients and should it perhaps also help us to keep the costs low, the, the costs of healthcare going up. And we have to find ways to make sure that we use our money well. So that I think is the, the, the main benefit. The main challenge is how we combine all the different bits of information in order to know for sure how to treat everybody um, in the best way possible. I think that we are um, bringing together different, different um, uh, areas of expertise in order to understand what's going on with patients now and how can we treat patients better in the future. The survey is mainly looking at uh, the current uh, uh, um, quality of care that, and quality of life that uh, the patients experience in different uh, European countries. Well, what we're going to do is it, it include the, the results from that survey in the analyses uh, um, in the future, um, uh, analyses that will uh, help us work out what the impact would be if we personalize care and how much we can improve quality of life. That patients it will be treated better than they are now using uh, newer medicines that are becoming available but ensuring that they're, they're only going to get those medicines if, we've, if those medicines will really work with them. UNITO is a, a partner of this European project and is contributing to the project with the recruitment of patient samples and patient information.
uh, a diagnosis or a relapse, patient perform a bone marrow aspirator or bone marrow biopsy and uh, through uh, the iliac uh, spine. And uh, this sample uh, is used for diagnosis uh, of, uh, of the disease and then can be stored through a freezing procedure in our lab, uh, in our institution. Uh, I hope that uh, this project will develop uh, a, a tool, uh, a predictive tool able to uh, uh, identify the more effective therapy for uh, each individual patient.